Hello, my fellow gnomes. It is December the 1st, which means Christmas season is upon us. And what better way to start the countdown than with a Christmas game? Now, for this video, I am teaming up with fellow YouTuber extraordinaire, Robuilder. He makes some great content over on his channel. Go and check out some of the stuff he's working on at the moment. But today, we're making a Christmas game together. Now, obviously, a Christmas game needs a Father Christmas and it needs some elves. But without making things too cliche, we thought we'd mix it up and we would make our Santa Claus the zombie. Uh, why? I'm not sure to be honest, but that's what we're doing. So to get started making this, obviously I want it to be round based and I've already got something I can use for this. So this is my round based uh, voting system, which I've made a video on. Uh, so if you want to know a tutorial of how to make this right, then you can make just like this. So we've got these three maps we can vote for. Not very Christmas themed at the moment. We've got this alien thing um, where we can just wander around uh, and walk into aliens. And they've got a bunch of other maps too. Robuilder is going to help me making some Christmas maps, making this lobby a bit more interesting as well, which is pretty empty. But this is going to give us a good base to work with to actually transform this into teams. So the first thing we need to do is actually add in some teams and add in some Christmassy decor. And boom, with the magic of editing, there we go. So we have our elf and we have our father Christmas. And we've got some team set up as well. So I'm automatically adding myself onto the elf team. Now, if I want to give myself the appearance of one of these, well, I could just make it a starter character, right? If I drag the elf in there and name him starter character, then when I spawn in, I'm going to have that elf appearance. Um, but that gives me, right, the default smile and everything. And you might not want to be just a complete clone of everyone else in the game. Something that's quite fun is to keep some of your appearance so you can have your skin color and your face. <laughs> but uh, you kind of keep the basic character. And we don't want to use starter character because we want to be able to place people onto each team and give them a different appearance accordingly. So to do this, um, I've got this function setup team character. And all I'm doing is I'm getting that player and I'm removing any other accessories or tools that they might have on them, moving their hats. But then I'm going to the outfit folder of replicator storage and I've got an elf and father Christmas models. And I'm just going to add in those shirts and pants that those are having so that now when I click play, I've still got my elf, but look, I've got my own smile. And if we change um, the teams so that we spawn in on Father Christmas. Look, watch what happens. We've got our Father Christmas character. And if I was to go and say change my avatar's face or skin color, then that would apply too. Pretty cool. Now, at the moment, each of these maps, they only have one spawn. So we've just got this spawn part, and that's where we're adding in all the players. That's how we did it in the original round based video. Um, but now we've got two teams. So we're going to create one spawn over, say, this side of the map. We're going to have some new maps eventually, thanks to Robuilder. But I'm going to clone it, move it around, and then we can call this the, the Santa spawn, for instance. And now we have those two spawns. We can move our players into it. We're going to have everyone spawn in as an elf initially, and then we're going to choose one player and make him the Father Christmas. Play again. I'll show you what I've got now is when I load in and we vote for a map again, we'll go for the garden. It's going to teleport the elves and assume we have a few more players. It's going to choose a random player as Santa Claus. Wait a few seconds. There we go. We get transferred over to the new team and I am now Santa. Now at the moment, this is pretty rubbish. So let's add in some weapons to spice things up. The link sword as it's sometimes called. And I'm just taking all the scripts from that and then I'm going to add them into this candy cane thing that I have. I can move around where I want its um, pivot, its position point to be so the elves can hold it. And that's going to be their weapon. Actually, it's not going to be for the elves. It's going to be the Santa. So Santa is going to have to rely on melee kills in order to take out uh, the elves. 
and the elves are obviously going to be equipped with some guns. And just as a placeholder for now, we'll give the elves the hyperlaser gun, which is a little bit OP, but it just gives us a sense of what it's going to be like. And then we can assign those weapons based on what team the player is in. So now let's open like a million different uh, testing windows. And what we should see is we've got two, three players. They're all on the elf team. Perfect. And when the round starts, we will get then assigned a weapon. We've got our laser all on top of each other stacked up like that. And eventually someone will get chosen as the elf. There we go. We've got a random player. They've got their candy cane weapon. And if we shoot Santa Claus, then he's just going to respawn back at his spawn as he were. We can shoot him as many times as we like. But if we go and we kill an elf ha -ha, with our evil candy cane of death, um, well, he still just respawns in on the elf team as well. What we want to happen is when we kill an elf, we actually switch his team over to Father Christmas and then he respawns and he joins him, you know, as like an infected zombie or in this case, an infected Santa Claus. So let's try that again now. We come in, we've already got two on the team. We take out the final elf and we should see, there we go, the round ends. So that's it. We've already got the very basics of our system. You see, I've got a few leader stats like kills, deaths, and sort of KD ratio, which is a bit weird having a KD ratio because um, the infected Father Christmases are never going to end up with a good KD ratio. But that's that's what we're working with. Robuilder has been busy working on some of the maps, and we're just going to jump in and see what he's got for us. Hopefully, we're not still stuck with that awful base plate. If we are, then something's gone very wrong. Ooh, I can already see some things going on here. Let's just join and click play. And oh, very nice. We've got our little Christmas lodge for ourselves. This is definitely looking festive. We've got some flames. Can we jump in the fire? No, we're safe. Maybe that's something I should add. And this looks pretty thematic. And oh, it looks like we've got some voting set up. So uh, we need to get rid of the 2D um, graphical stuff. And let's make it 3D instead. I think that could be more fun. And we've only got one player, so we can't actually join uh, at the moment. But uh, so we've got some maps here. We'll need to add in our spawns, set them up. And we've got one down here too. Pretty cool. I like what he's been doing. I do wonder how well some of these will work for gameplay as they're very much like team A versus team B, sort of for like a shooter or something where it's even. Whereas for our game, um, it starts out as one versus many. So you kind of want the infected player to be able to sneak around a little and, and get up behind people. Um, but I think Robil is still working on this. So maybe we'll see if he can do anything and we're going to add in maybe a few little bits ourselves. Okay, so we've definitely still got some work to do here. I've got some things to do on the scripting side and Robuild is still tweaking some of his maps a little bit. And hopefully, at the end of it, we're going to get a game. But here's the thing. I'm going to put this video out. I'm going to leave the link to the game in the description. Hopefully it's finished by the time this comes out. You guys need to play it. You need to play this game and then leave a comment on this video or over on Road Builder's video. Check out his video on his channel as well. And tell us what you think of the game, what you think it could be added. And if people are interested, we maybe do some more updates for this thing. So there we go. Happy December, everyone. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.